Good morning everybody and welcome to morning prayer on a Thursday. Um, actually we're, we're going to do morning prayer from Wednesday um, and, and that's for a special reason. So this morning Andrew and I, as you can see, are, from, uh, are sitting in St John the Baptist. And the reason we're sitting in St John the Baptist, um, apart from the fact that I like to rotate around the churches for morning prayer, is that yesterday, Wednesday, was uh, the uh, celebration of the birth of St John the Baptist. Uh, and so we thought we would use morning prayer from Wednesday, um, which is very similar to the morning prayer you're used to, um, today and celebrate the birth of St John the Baptist in the church mm. of St John the Baptist. So if you are following with readings this morning, uh, as usual, we will only uh, use the gospel reading uh, today in our service, but if you'd like to read the other readings yourself at home, the readings set for today, St John the Baptist, are Psalm 50, that's 5-0, um, and from the Old Testament, Malachi chapter 3, verses 1 to 6, and the New Testament reading, which you'll hear in a moment, is from Luke's Gospel, and it's chapter 3, verses 1 to 17. So those are our readings this morning. So, morning prayer for St John the Baptist on Thursday. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And we're going to say the canticle set for Thursday, um, and it's from Isaiah, chapter 42. I have given you as a light to the nations, and I have called you in righteousness. Thus says God, who created the heavens, who fashioned the earth and all that dwells in it. Who gives breath to the people upon it, and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord, and I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind. To bring out the captives from the dungeon, from the prison those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name. My glory I give to no other. Glory, glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, now and, and shall, shall be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. I have given you as a light to the nations, and I have called you in righteousness. So we'll have our <coughs> reading from Luke's Gospel. Luke's Gospel. So, Luke's Gospel, chapter 3, verses 1 to 17. In the fifteenth year of the reign of Emperor Tiberius, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea, and Herod was ruler of Galilee, and his brother Philip, ruler of the region of Ituria and Trachonitis, and Lysanias, ruler of Abilene, during the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, son of Zechariah, in the wilderness. He went into all the region around the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of the prophet Isaiah, the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways made smooth and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. John said to the crowds that came out to be baptised by him, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bear fruits worthy of repentance. Do not begin to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our ancestor. For I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children to Abraham. Even now the axe is lying at the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. 
And the crowds asked him, What then should we do? In reply, he said to them, Whoever has two coats must share with anyone who has none, and whoever has food must do likewise. Even tax collectors came to be baptised, and they asked him, Teacher, what should we do? He said to them, Collect no more than the amount prescribed to you. Soldiers asked, the soldiers also asked him, And we, what should we do? He said to them, Do not extort money from anyone by threats or false accusation, and be satisfied with your wages. As the people were filled with expectation and all were questioning in their hearts concerning John, whether he might be the Messiah, John answered all of them by saying, I baptize you with water, but one who is more powerful than I is coming. I am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his granary but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Um, John the Baptist, I will baptise you with water, but the one who is coming will baptise you with the Spirit. So John the Baptist, right from the beginning, you'll remember John the Baptist, he is the son of Zechariah, as mentioned in that reading, and Elizabeth. And, and um, I'm sure many of you will remember that story. I love the story of when Elizabeth is expecting John and Mary is expecting Jesus and Mary comes to, to stay with Elizabeth and um, the child in Elizabeth's womb jumps um, as Mary approaches uh, with the Messiah inside her and I, I just love that story of those two pregnant women um, bearing these wonderful children. We don't actually know at what age uh, John left home and went to live in the, wilder in the wilderness. Um, it's it's rumoured that he perhaps joined a, a sect that lived in the desert and I can't remember who, what they were yeah, called. Scenes. The Essenes, mm. that's it. Um, and uh, they are the ones from where we get the scrolls that, that were Qumran. found in Qumran. Yeah, yeah, so the ancient scrolls that were found not that long ago, I can't remember. 1950s, I think. Was it? 58 or 61 yeah. or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, so they, they had those scrolls, which we now have. So uh, ancient writing that we didn't have before. Uh, so John went out into the wilderness and he proclaimed the Lord was coming. Um, and I, I love most of you will know, I love a bit of um, brimstone and fire. Um, and, and this is another one of those readings that's saying, you know, if you don't follow the way, you brood of vipers, look at the way you're living. If you don't follow the way, um, then you will be cut and like chaff burnt. Um, and um, I think it's good, really, to be reminded sometimes that this faith of ours uh, this way of life that we have found and try to live is real. It's not, um, it's, it's not something to be taken lightly. It's not just a turn up, I was going to say turn up on a Sunday morning, but we can't turn up on Sunday mornings anymore, can we? Um, but it's something we live our whole lives with, and it's good to be reminded uh, that there are consequences to our actions and to the way that we live. But it's even nicer when we read on that this way to live is actually very easy and it's what the whole gospel is about. This is what John starts off um, our whole gospel, everything that Jesus teaches and that's some humility in ourselves. To live our lives for other people, to think about others not just ourselves. It's the whole, whole gospel, love your neighbour as you love yourself. Um, and that's John's message. It's an easy way. Love the God, our God, with all your heart, mind and soul and all your strength. And love your neighbour as yourself. Nothing more fundamental than that. Um, and that's our reminder this morning. That reaches very much into what's going on in the world around us today. Yes, mm. yes and what we hope many people have learnt perhaps from the lockdown time. Mm.
So um, let's pray. I'm going to use prayers that are set for the feast of the birth of John the Baptist, and the prayers reflect uh, the themes around his life. So let us pray. In the power of the Spirit and union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Lord God, who promised Zechariah a son filled with the Spirit and power of Elijah to prepare a people fit for the Lord, we pray for reconciliation between all people. And at this time of suspicion and violence between peoples around the world, and in communities. We pray for healing and understanding between communities in our nation and between nations. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. Lord God, when Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leapt in her womb. May she who believed your promise be blessed among women and may we proclaim with joy the good news of your Christ. Help us to trust in your promises and to respond to your call, whatever that call may be. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord gracious, gracious, hear us. Lord God, at John's birth, Zechariah proclaimed he would be the prophet of the Most High. We pray for all who preach the good news and all who speak out for justice and righteousness. We pray that right actions may be taken around the world for those in positions of leadership and for seeking of the ways of peace and reconciliation and for those who are victims of economic, political and military injustice and power. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. Lord God, when your Son came to the Jordan and was baptised by John, he saw the heavens open and the Spirit descending as a dove. May we who are baptised into your Church faithfully proclaim in the world the words of your beloved Son. Lord, we pray for your Church in every place. We give thanks for its life and witness around the world that it may be a beacon of peace and love and service and prophetic words to your people. And we pray for the suffering church in all places, especially of conflict. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord God, John proclaimed your Son as the Lamb of God, and John's disciples followed Jesus. Help us to follow him also, and by our words and deeds to bring our families and friends closer to you. Lord, we pray for the communities of which we are a part, and our loved ones near and far, especially at this time of separation and anxiety. We pray for those who are looking after our communities and keeping the wheels turning in our societies. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously Jesus. hear us. Lord God, who sent John to witness the light to be the voice of one crying in the wilderness and to prepare the way of the Lord and bring your healing to the sick and the needy, to the broken-hearted and the oppressed, to prisoners and captives. We pray for all who suffer, whether it be through illness or violence, poverty, injustice or the actions of others. We pray for the transformation of policies and people and ourselves. Lord, hear us. 
Lord, graciously hear us. Lord God, John preached the baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins and suffered imprisonment and death for proclaiming your law. We remember all who have died in your service. Joining our prayers with John the Baptist and all the saints, grant us with them a share in your eternal kingdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious hear us. Almighty God, by whose providence your servant John the Baptist was wonderfully born and sent to prepare the way of your Son, our Saviour, by the preaching of repentance. Lead us to repent according to his preaching and after his example, constantly to speak the truth, boldly to rebuke vice and patiently to suffer for the truth's sake. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, Father who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Amen. Amen.